For decades, Russian and American astronauts have worked side by side in orbit. Now, amid war and sanctions, Russia is threatening to pull out of the space station within a few years. But today, two Americans, a Japanese astronaut and a Russian cosmonaut, will board a SpaceX rocket for a five-month station assignment. They've been training together for a year. Mission Commander Nicole Mann is a veteran combat pilot set to become the first Native American woman in space. You've got a Russian cosmonaut among your crew members. Is there tension uh, among you and, and your fellow cosmonaut? It's just like working with any other true professional, and that they are true professionals. That Russian crew member is Anna Kakina, Russia's only current female cosmonaut. Do you and your crew members discuss the tension with Russia and America, or do you choose not to discuss certain topics? We were focusing on our uh, common, unique, single aim, uh, and we had not a time for something else. Because their lives could depend on each other, she insists they stay focused on the mission. It's like body systems to watch each other, and um, the second, uh, to help each other, to assist each other in the different tasks. And once in orbit, they all gaze at the same home. This is the view of Earth from the International Space Station and a simulator at NASA in Houston. Outside the cupola, the blue richness of Earth and the blackness, the deep blackness of space. And right there, the Canada arm, which has reached out to grab an incoming cargo vessel. Russian rockets regularly give the station a required altitude boost, and crew members often eat dinner together. But cosmonauts have also flown flags from the breakaway Ukrainian regions, even an old Soviet flag. Still, NASA's chief says both countries communicate and coordinate every day. This has been going on since 1975, in the middle of the Cold War with the Soviet Union. And uh, that cooperation has continued ever since. The space station mission control in Houston and Russia's mission control, they still talk every day, coordinating on rocket launches, on space station issues. But Russia is talking about pulling out of the station. NASA would like to keep it going until 2030. The question is how long will Russia be a part of that, especially given the tension? Craig? Uh, that view from the, the model of the International Space Station is pretty cool there. Tom Costello for us there at Kennedy yeah. Space Center. Thank you, Tom. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.